As soon as you come into Gravignano, the site of the castle of the Balioni family will certainly impress you. This fortress was built in 1200 and protected this village during the fights against the municipality of Orvieto in 1500. The building is quadrangular with an inner yard and a 20 meters tall tower, originally meant for defense. This stronghold seems indeed the prototype of the medieval castle, both for its fortifications and for the way of access, which passes over a moat as a stone version of a lift bridge. The so-called houses of the interior were built around the castle for protection. From far they seem to be a single body, yet they have typical external staircases, and they often feature caves, which once were stables. Every now and then, between these juxtaposed houses, it is possible to appreciate the wonderful views of the ancient architectures and the woods surrounding the village. Grafignano indeed enjoys a very favourable position, on top of a plateau dominating the Tibera Valley. The sanctuary of the Madonna of Castellonchio is two kilometres away from the town centre, in a green and pleasant area. There are written records of a religious site already in 1464, but the building we see now was constructed at the beginning of 1900. The fresco of the Madonna of Castellonchio is kept in the new church, next to the original one. This image was always believed to cause miracles and healings, and it is still profoundly worshipped today. Walking a steep path in the woods, visitors reach small fountains, whose waters are also believed to be miraculous. Apart from Graffignano, the Balioni family also influenced the construction of the borough of Sipiciano, which certainly is worth a visit. As it happens with the castle of Graffignano, the barren mansion also seems to be indivisible from the older surrounding houses. The palace, with its octagonal towers, was built in 1500 as the so-called Balioni Chapel, inside the former church of Santa Maria Assunta in Cello. A series of frescoes dedicated to the life and miracles of St. Francis decorate the chapel. Outside the medieval quarter, there is the church of St. Bernardino, whose side walls were adorned with beautiful frescoes in 1400. They represent St. Francis, St. Bernardino, and four other saints, maybe all painted by Pier Matteo d'Amelia.